the life and journey of Abad Swigwe. This is from a friend, a close friend. They were close together. They drink champagne together. He was a banker as well and uh, a member of Redeem, a regional, um, uh, whatever he calls himself. I'm going to read out what he said. This is allegedly, oh, but you could say it's a rumor, but this looks very real, but it's allegedly anyway, because he speaks from, from the, how do, how, how to say it? He, he, he speaks the truth. He voices out his concern. He's very sorry and uh, disturbed that we go this, this way. Let this word the way he did. Let me read on and uh, we, could, we could judge it together. There's a lot of lessons to be learned, to be learned from the life of we go. And uh, I want you to watch with open mind. Don't be judgmental. Wigwe was a victim of misleading, victims of lies and deception, and victims of uh, bad company or betrayer. So let's read on. About Wigwe, before this, a lot of names involved. A lot of names like Pascal Dozis. Uh, from Diamond Bank, how uh, Abbott was hurt on some people and all that caused them to lose their shares, to resign, to force them to resign and all that. So, but I'm going to skip all that then. I will start from Abbott Wigwe went from Coppers, you know the farm, to Capital Merchant Bank. From there to GT Bank, and from GT as EDS, the idea to buy Nigeria Arab Bank came up and it was acquired with EK Inwabuko as the first MD. For whatever reason, EK Inwabuko disappeared, you heard that, and Hebi and IG became the prominent features and changed the name to Access Bank. Someone disappeared. Okay? So, in 2001, 2001, Abbott was asked to bring in cash equity. Since he didn't bring in any, unlike IG, IG's sponsors, who did through Intercontinental Bank? You know, IG is Clopar. That one brought some sponsors. So, from Intercontinental Bank. Herbie's father, Shingu Wigwe, was the Deputy General Overseer of RCCG Lagos and City Express Bank, where I was then the regional head. You heard also this person was close to, to them, to Wigwe family. That's why I said um, Herbert was, um, was, was a victim. Yes, he was a victim of misleading and um, deceptions. And uh, I could say bad parenting as well because his father, his, his senior brother, they were both in banking sector as well. So... This man goes on, was the main banker of RCCG as half of our staff, including both the MDs, Mrs. Shola Adeoti, and the father, Prince Adedoyi, were staunch members of RCCG. So you see the RCCG setting. This person, a regional head. So was the banker, was the main banker of RCCG. So you heard all that. So he was a senior person there. I processed a share loan of 500 million Naira. Can you, can you imagine? For Ebi, and that was his first cash equity injection. In 2007, I was already two years in Echo Bank. 
and they were not promoting me in line with my performance. And I went to Habat and IG to hire me because they've already moved on to Access Bank, to own Access Bank. So I hope you guys are following me. So he went to me then. They waived the interview for me and we all sat in their office chatting and drinking brandy all evening. And they meant to be pastors, so because this is a regional head of RCCG. You see your life? Anyway, let's move on. So they promised to send me an offer letter after we had agreed on the terms of the offer in a, cup, in a couple of days. They pulled his legs. I waited for over two weeks. Silchi, Silchi, that's someone's name, and I got in touch with a very close mutual friend of ours. She told me to forget the offer. They must have told that one that we just pull his leg go. We are not going to do anything. Those are the back, backbiting, backstabbing that is going on among the Kabas. They stab each other as well. So, offer that they said I cannot work with them, that I knew too much about them. You heard it all. Why didn't they tell him that no, Oga, hey, you are too heavy for us, so we cannot work for you, with you. So they pulled his leg. They didn't bother to do interview because they didn't want to waste his time because they already know that they will not employ him. But they play him anyway. And these are supposed to be Christians. So we all remain friends with certain boundaries. <clears throat> you heard that too. So the idea of both Haiji and Ebi going to watch every Super Bowl within the last 10 years was an acquired taste to show off how rich they were as none of them went to school in the USA. So Super Bowl is a very big game for BB people, people of caliber. caliber. So, and uh, they've been going for the past 10 years, spending a lot of money and all that. Anyway, Herbert had just acquired a brand new Lear, 650 jets, Two years ago, with a full cash payment, you heard that. That's a private jet. And had ordered the 750 series to be delivered later this year. Full paid for. With one of the biggest houses on Queen's Drive, we saw that Ikoi Lagos. Head high on Ego. You heard it too. A big house in the UK. He has a big house in the UK. A big house, a big one in Florida, and a big one in California. Only one person know. Mm. He flew from London to Florida in his PJ. Because there was no parking space on Las Vegas airport for the Super Bowl, he then flew to California to get a shopper to Vegas. He couldn't slept. He could have slept in his house in California and left the next day. That's a Saturday. He flew in on Sat on Friday, slept uh, 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 on Saturday, slept and left for Super Bowl on Sunday. Seeing the Super Bowl was on Sunday, but when a dog wants to die, he refuses to smell the smell of shit. This, the, the rest is story. You know, that's why people circulate that it was a business transaction. And they gave him an offer that he could not reject. And they, they, they are, it will come with time, with time, um, it will come with uh, time uh, something. Ah, that ex escaped my mind now. Time limit. You have to meet it at this time. Those are... Um, Professional assassin, assassin, yeah. They are professional assassin. 
They know what they are doing. They know your passion. They know you from A to two. They know what they will say to you that mm -mm, you just fall for it like that. Even if God is telling you, you will say, mm -mm, it's Satan talking. Because every this thing was actually planned and it was, um, it was, um, it was, um, ah, professional um, people that actually planned this thing. Because it doesn't look real. It's not normal. It doesn't make sense in a bad weather with a, with a shopper that have a, a very bad uh, reputation, slight reputation. Anyway, so this man, he was lamenting because what happened to him actually hurts everybody. The rest is story. I believe his time is, was up. He had hurt a lot of people to get to where he was today. And who knows what prayers they were praying against him. The punishment was just too harsh. <laughs> too harsh. And it was a group of people that did this. It wasn't one person. A group of people. So my people, I want you to learn. You bring nothing to this world and you will go with, you will go with nothing. Don't be too hasty in life. Don't let everybody know your weakness. For someone who has reached that level in such a medium short time, he should have been more sensitive. You see, that's what I was saying. But he was not. He became too ambitious and arrogant and forgot to smear the rules. At that level, you don't travel with very senior members of your, of your decision tree. Make, making family in one plane, a car can be maneuvered, but anything flying in the air cannot. California and Nevada are here have a serious turbulence issue. What's more flying? A shopper at night. Considering the recent air accident within that area, because that's where Kobe helicopter crashed as well. It, they didn't do their own work. It must be the people that he was going to meet at that Super Bowl that even sent that, that arranged for the shopper. Because up to today, they didn't give us the information of the, of the pilots, the two pilots. They didn't give us their information. Nobody saw them when they were boarding. So everything looks suspicious to me and to many people that live in this uh, part of the world. So um, he had a great mind, can do spirit and believe that everything was possible once Abbott put his mind to it. Yes, that's one of his weakness. And they used it against him. He was also a wonderful ideas man. The banking industry will miss Herbert Wigwe. I will also miss him. You see, the man is sorry, despite the fact that he hurt him. As he was my friend and brother, despite his faults, and most times he can do anything to get what he wants. You heard that? But that's how this very rich men are. You don't get very rich by being a nice guy. You trample on people. You work on them. Most nice guys are not very rich. Habat, Chizoba, and Chizi, the world of banking, we really miss him. Ha! Ah, this is heavy. This is heavy. What shall I what shall I for what shall I eat profit? What shall I eat profit a man? To hold the old world and lose his, 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 his life. The I kept saying it, the anonymous. They told him. They told him he got the message. And I don't know why he was so careless. But when everything is concluded in the spirit realm, 
all these professional assassins, once they're ready for you, ah, ah, hey, they know how to do it. They use your passion. They, they, they use, uh, they, they, they've been planning this for years, though. It doesn't just happen like that, so. It, so it was when they succeeded, the anonymous must have hacked their whatever and see that this is their next plan. Because the hackers are the anonymous that hacked information of all these great men. They hang around them and all that. So, and that's it. But to me, this punishment was just too harsh. It was just too harsh. And then uh, a lesson for us that is still living. Everyone that spent his money with him, they are not betraying him. Everybody have moved on. They have moved on. And their carcass has, there's not even good carcass. All these great men, all these rich and every, they have each other. They betray each other. If Tony Elumilu could betray Otedola, ah, that shows you that their carcass is a dangerous one. I will see you. I hope you learned something. Don't come here to rain curses or anything. No. I'm just trying to open your eyes and I want you to learn from this. You, we have to know that we don't need too much. No, we do not need too much. You are putting yourself in arm's way. Because where your own power, connection stops, that's where so, so, some people start. So power does not end with nobody. I know these pastors, they will tell you, keep dancing, keep dancing. We are watching your back. Well, it's a lie. See what they are doing to Uigwe, Uigwe now. See what they are doing, what they are doing. They first of all, of course, condemned him. How could you be a serious uh, uh, Christian and be watching Super Bowl on Sunday? Imagine. 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 Eh, now they are saying he doesn't listen to what the daddy Gio is preaching. What is he preaching? What is the daddy Gio preaching? Preaching. Others will bow to you. Others will bow to you. Okay, since they've been bowed to all of them, everybody exalting him, hailing him, collecting whatever uh, here, price here and there. Where is the end now? Where is the end? He left his mom and his dad. He left everything. He left his younger children. He left it. What is the point? We do not need too much. There's no need to steal from people, to rob people. There's no need. Just ask. God already gave us power to make wealth. If he gave us power to make wealth, let that be enough for you. Don't start stepping on toes. And people will be raining curses on you. They'll be chasing you with all, all, all sorts of powers and everything. Curses works. Don't let anybody tell you that curse does not work. Everyone that is cheating, you that is collecting a, a Brahm offering, collecting that an offering, even when we be, we've been telling you that that an offering is not of God, you are not a Levite. You are not supposed to be collecting it. People don't listen. People don't listen. Anyway, I hope you learned something. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now. I feel sorry for what happened to Wigui. Let's learn from it.